Hey guys, thank you so much for your messages and most of the questions I received uh, this time was about left hand. Uh, so when I talk about the left hand and building up the fingers over here, uh, I first think about the positioning of the left hand, okay, the very um, correct position of the left hand and, and you just have to bring your left hand down naturally and then naturally slowly bring it up and the way your left hand comes to the guitar that's your natural posture okay instead of holding the entire neck of the guitar like this with your thumb uh, here doing on top of the neck and it's it makes just very difficult to move your left hand here and there and this portion of the left hand also you know blocks the neck here and it, it creates more difficulty for the left hand to move instead of that if you just put your wrist down and bring the fingers closer to the string and keep the fingers parallel to the frets then it becomes more easier for the fingers to move in here okay that's another thing it's okay for the electric guitar players those who use uh, you know bending techniques so for them they have to keep the thumb over here so that they get strength in the in the fingers to bend the string or maybe holding some root notes with the thumb okay but when I'm playing talking about classical guitar or in general in general fingering then uh, we must keep the fingers steady uh, parallel to the frets okay that's very important uh, uh, the another thing is being so close to the strings and not very fast so if you are playing any one note for example let's play the D here so if you're playing the D with your third finger then the rest of the finger should not be far away from the fingerboard okay and even if you're practicing any scales like so you shouldn't be so far away from the like you should not be leaving fingers like one by one like Like this okay this is like a uh, uh, I would say it's not appropriate to lift up your fingers from behind and, and and hold one note from the higher octave I would say that to keep the finger more steady so if I practice the G major scale or any scale for example then I would keep the fingers steady let's say for example if I'm playing the simple chromatic scale then I'm just I just go from here one two three four or on the four frets finger one by one so one two three four keeping the left hand finger steady instead of one two three four going far away from the strings okay because it again makes a difficulty when you have to come back to the string on the next string so it takes extra time for the left hand finger to reach on on the note in in, in, in right time so i suggest that to keep your fingers steady on the on the notes and be as close as possible to the string but also making it very sure that your left hand finger uh, does not hit other strings to create any unwanted noise so you please practice like uh, keeping your left hand finger steady one two three as you can see my uh, first finger and the second finger is already holding the same note while i play the fourth finger now you can see my third my first finger second finger and third finger is already on the position and i did not lift it up from the guitar okay so now when i have to change the string then i leave all the fingers together and then go to the fifth string so one two three four and i repeat the same on the next string one two three four one two three four one two three four one two so this is while ascending in descending you have to lift up your finger otherwise you cannot play so it's like all right so for descending it's important to leave the fingers otherwise you cannot play the lower notes but while ascending always try to keep be steady on the notes okay so this is another very important exercise or uh, information for the left hand finger. 
the another one uh, let's follow the same chromatic scale but you can always alternate the fingers and practice uh, the chromatic scale and using different fingerings I'm keeping the index and middle fingers alternately of the right hand so here we go another exercise for the left hand that you can practice is uh, while doing ascending you can go first third and second fourth on all the strings so here we go and then descending alright so these are very uh, uh, important exercises to bring coordination between the left and the right hand and builds up the left hand the another very important exercise is to hold the chords uh, with your left hand okay uh, mainly with the first finger and just hold the bar with the first finger and then try to play all the strings together sounding properly you just make sure that with your first finger of the left hand how you make the bar you are holding all the six strings and the notes are clearly coming in without any noise all right so this was another uh, uh, very good exercise for the left hand uh, first finger for making a bar and you can obviously build up the tempo uh, when you are practicing the chromatic scale or any scale you are building up uh, uh, you know the fingerings always try to play it in metronome so that your finger reaches on tempo clearly and you can always practice the six and the thirds for the advanced students you can always practice the uh, uh, in the thirds using the fingerings and then you can go on the sixth and then you can also do it one by one okay so uh, let me know how you like this uh, uh, information and if it is useful for you then please do write uh, to me and uh, keep me messaging uh, so that I'll know how you are improving and if any questions you have please feel free to share and write to me thank you so much and have a good time